Hello everyone, this is Alex of Vending Machine Support. I wanted to make a quick video for new vending machine operators who are in the market or who already purchased a Dixie Narco 501E, 276E, or 600E drink vending machine and want to add a credit card reader to that machine such as this. Now there are two key areas that you need to make sure your machine has in order for these credit card readers to operate correctly. And I wanted to point those out to you. Now the first thing you want to check on your Dixie Narco E-Series drink machine is to make sure that you're running MDB. Now this is the MDB plug. Well, MDB stands for multi-drop bus. And this was introduced into the vending world roughly in around about 1996. And with this kind of revolutionized vending. Um, if you think of USB on a computer, which allowed you to attach cameras, printers, and all sorts of things to your computer using just one style plug, MDB was sort of the same thing. Now, what we can, with this type of style plug or protocol, we're able to attach your credit card reader, your dollar bill acceptor, and your coin changer down to one single plug system as this. We would daisy chain that in. Now, you have to make sure that you've got the MDB plug. Now, the MDB plug can be easily recognized by its six sockets. There's actually five pins, but it's a six socket plug. Now this is the MDB harness connected to the main control board. So this is what it looks like. So you can look at your control board. If you have this type of plug, then you're more likely going to be running the SD, uh, MDB. Excuse me. Now these control boards can also run the 110 volt uh, older style coin changers and dollar bill acceptors. The plug would look a little bit different than this. You would actually have more wires running that. Now this is the MDB plug. Now, the other thing you want to take note is the actual firmware on the board. Now, this board here has got a sticker located right here, and I think this is 381.01 is what they is saying the EEPROM firmware is. Now, anybody can put a sticker on this. This cover could come from another thing, so we don't know exactly what that EEPROM is. Now, we can remove the cover from this board and see what the EEPROM is. There'll be a sticker on the EEPROM. Now that may not be correct. So the foolproof way to know what your firmware or operating system uh, you're running on your SD control board is to go and check it via the control board. So to do this, you just gonna need to press the service mode button, blue button right here. And you press that button one time, we're gonna enter in the, the go into diagnostics. So we press this button one time. And once that's pressed, you're presented with HD. Now at this point, you're going to cycle to the diagnostics or DIAG by pressing and holding selection buttons one and two together at the same time. You're gonna keep holding these down until you get to DIAG, diagnostics. Once we're here, we're pressing hold selection button one until the display reads SE, and now we've entered diagnostics. From here, we press and hold selection buttons one and two together at the same time until the display gets down to VERS which is going to be for our version and VERS. This is for version. So once we have this on the display, if we just press and hold selection button one, what we'll be scrolling across the screen is the actual EEPROM version firmware. Here we have three 80.91. Now this firmware will work with a credit card reader. Any firmware that is 380.XX is capable of handling credit card readers correctly. So if we had 380.25, that would work fine. We don't want to be below 3.80. If you had a 379 firmware, that firmware need to be updated and that is done by replacing the EEPROM on the control board. Now those are the two key areas that you want to look for when adding a credit card reader to a Dixie Narco 501E, 276E, or 600E drink vending machine. One is to make sure the machine is MDB, as well as make sure the control board is running the latest firmware. Now, if you found this video useful, I appreciate if you could like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, comments, or ideas of videos that you would like to see, please leave a comment below. And with that being said, I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Thank you.